Alright, we're back for another painting tutorial. And this one is going to be on Fafnir Ran, the new Imperial Fist character from the Horus Heresy series. Uh, he's a, one of the new plastic miniatures that came out for the Black Library celebration. Um, I've got him separate from his shield, which goes on his back, because I didn't want to try to paint around it. Um, and I have primed him first with Beastie Brown from Vallejo, and then I zenithaled him from above with Wraithbone Spray from Citadel. And I did that with his shield as well. Since his shield is going to be vertical on his back, I sprayed sort of that way with the, uh, with the Wraithbone. So, first things first, we're going to start with E-End in Yellow. This is just going to be for all the armor on this guy. This guy is quite detailed, uh, but he does not have a ton of different colors on him. Um, he does have a lot of colors, or rather, he has, like I said, he has a lot of detail, not a lot of different colors. Though. Just trying to find the correct paintbrush here. There we go. And so we're just going to put this all over the armor. Um, the purpose of the brown is to give us a nice... Or rather, the purpose of the brown in the zenithal, as opposed to the uh, black that we normally would use, is just to give the yellow a more rich base coat. Uh, the brown, or rather, if we had used the black, the yellow can sometimes appear more like green than... Uh, than true yellow and that's not what we want so as you can see as we put this over the brown areas it just keeps the, the yellow looking like yellow so there are quite a bit of uh, details that you got to make sure to get this yellow on he has decoration and stuff all over his armor but you just want to make sure that you do hit all the spots of his armor and because we're using yellow here, um, we can do this on not necessarily just the yellow details, but on details that we aren't quite sure about yet. And then almost any color will cover over this yellow at a later date. So that's what I'm doing here. Not sure exactly what is going to be yellow and what isn't going to be in here, but I know that if I want to change it to brown or black or really maybe even red. Um, all those colors will cover over this yellow without any issues. So I'm just going to keep going here. Make sure to get this yellow all over his armor. And then once that's all dry, I will come back and we'll do the next step. Alright, we're back. And our yellow is all nice and dry. And now, we're going to add a second coat of the yellow, but instead of using E-End in yellow, we're going to use Cassandora yellow. And this will just make the... tip the yellow slightly more towards, well, true yellow. Uh, instead of the sort of slight brown tint we have, uh, we just want it to, to be more of the Imperial Fist yellow that we all know and love. So here, hopefully you can see the difference there between these, what this shade is doing for us. So I'm just going to put this all over. And then, of course, all over the main miniature as well. Making sure to put it on thin because we don't want it to we don't want this guy looking orange we just want him to be a little more yellow than he is so I'm just going to apply this to everything and then we will come back and do the next contrast color which will probably be on the belts and the leather and stuff so as soon as this dries I will return Alrighty, our yellow is all nice and dry. And now we're going to go on to Gore Grunta Fur. And this is going to be for all of the leather and belts and stuff on this guy. 
So I'm going to start with the shield. And just do this. The belt that is holding on this knife on here. Being careful not to get any on the yellow. Just hold on to the shield itself for this. I'm going to try to balance it on the paint handle. I could poster putty it to the, uh, to the paint handle, but I'm not super concerned with that. Um, these metallic parts at the top and bottom here, we're going to paint them once the shield is glued on to the, the mini. So I'm not super concerned. Make sure we get the sides of these belts and the side of the scabbard here. Here we go. And then the back of this belt here. I'm not going to put too much work into the back of this shield because I don't know exactly what will be exposed and what won't be yet. Once I glue it on, though, I'll take a peek what can be seen on the back of the shield and then paint from there. Right, so it's, oh, and then I'm just going to do the wrapping of this, this color as well. There we go. All right. So then on the main guy, we've got these this tabard thing here. And I'm just going to get color on each of them so you can see what I will be painting this color and then I'll finish them once I stop the video. So I'm going to do both of these wraps here. Both, on both axes. Then, let's see, he's got a holster here. And the handle of the gun is going to be in this color, at least for now. It's going to be in that color as well. It might turn black later, we'll have to see. And then he's got a pouch here. And I think that's going to be it. Just double check. I'm gonna do this once I pause the camera. Put color there and there. Yep, so that'll be that. Um, I'll finish this color up, wait for it to dry, and then we'll come back and keep going. All right, we're back. Everything nice and dry. Uh, the only other thing I did while the camera was off was I put in the Gorgrunta fur in there. I decided I wanted that belt buckle to be that color. And I just took some of the primer and cleaned up any of the yellow that was in these two circles here. So now we're going to move on to Black Templar. And there's not a ton of this uh, on this guy, but there's a little bit. So I'm going to start with this circle down here with the 7th Legion uh, number in it. And this whole circle is going to be blacked out. And if I get some on these things here, that's fine, because they're going to be silver. So we're going to repaint over them anyway. Then I'm going to get these axes that are here on his, uh, on his tilt plate. Just being careful not to get any on the yellow. Places now on the the fists here. 
The entire fist is going to be black, and then the outline of the circle is also going to be black. Just block this in, and we are just going to leave this circle, this uh, the white color. So if we do make a mistake, we can just come back in and paint over it with a little bit of white. And it won't be a problem, but I am trying to minimize mistakes, not just... Just because I can easily go back and fix it doesn't mean that I want to have to go back and fix it. So I am still trying to be careful. Yeah, just have to get the knuckles here. There we go. Okay. And then, we just are going to get the outline here. Like I said, being very careful when I can. We will have to come back and touch this up. It's okay. Making sure not to get it on the yellow and making sure not to bump this as I go by. Okay. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit right here. I just have some water on my brush. I'm just going to clean that little spot up. And if I can't completely clean it up, then I will touch it up with some yellow in the... Uh, well, the camera's off. But, nope, we appear to have cleaned it up just fine. So, I will do the other shoulder pad in the same way. Then I'll clean up any of the white or any of the yellow that needs to be cleaned up. And then we'll come back and do the next step. Alright, we're back and our black is all nice and dry. And now we're going to move on to a step that I assume will take quite a while. Uh, that's going to be the metal. And for that I'm going to use Army Painter's Plate Mail Metal. Uh, if you're wanting to stick to GW Paint, this is roughly Iron Breaker. Uh, I just don't happen to have Iron Breaker on hand right now. And I do have this Army Painter color, so that's what I'm going to use. This is going to be all over this miniature, pretty much on almost every detail that we have left, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to start up here with this heraldry and just get it all over it. Um, we're also going to do all the details around here, all the outlines on his armor, the decorative like uh, plates, or the decorative lines around each armor plate. Um, on the axes, uh, on the symbol, on the shield, just pretty much every detail that's left. Um, should be able to coat with one coat, but if I have to, I will go back and paint a second coat on there. Sometimes silver will struggle to cover over a light color primer, but we shall see. So I'm going to do this, uh, make sure that's all nice and covered, and then make sure it's all nice and dry, and then once I am done with that, I will come back, uh, explain what I did and what I painted with this color, and then we can go about adding the final details, and honestly, he'll be pretty close to done. Alright, we're back, and uh, silver is all done. Uh, the only other thing I did while the camera was off is these two lines on the backpack here. I painted them in with Black Templar. Forgot to do that earlier while I was doing the Black Templar. Uh, now we're going to move on to some gold, and for that we're going to use Retributor Armor. 
And there's not a ton of gold on this guy, but there is a little bit. So first, it's going to be these... I'm not sure what they are. Armor pimples? I don't really know what the purpose of them is, but regardless, they're going to be gold. Got another one over here. The skull on his backpack here is going to be gold. Just checking for anything else. Yeah, this I haven't painted it silver, but it's going to be gold. And then, of course, the armor pimples again over here. And then I'm going to paint the fists that are on his axe in, in gold. Oh yeah, and this skull right here. And these on the tabard. There we go. Alright, and then like I said, the, uh, the fists on the axes here. So I will let this gold dry completely, and I will get any spots that I have missed. And after that has taken place, I will come back and we will work on the face. Alright, we're back. Our gold is all nice and dry. Uh, now we're going to go on to the face. And we're going to start with Gullum and Flesh. This is just going to be put on his skin. Nothing too fancy. As always, uh, with this paint job, we're going for tabletop quality. So, uh, not too worried about being super fancy. Just going to get color on him and move on. And to move on, we are indeed going to do... We're just going to go straight into his hair. And for that, we're going to use Snakebite Leather. Good shake. And I'm just going to put this on his hair and beard mustache combo. I'm not really sure where his hair ends and his face begins, but based on the Box art. I think this is all hair right there. And I'll have to come back in and touch up some of the, the details on the back of his head, but that's okay. Switch to a smaller brush now so I can get in and do this facial hair. So I'll let that dry. I'm also going to take this opportunity to paint in these details in the back and side of his head, which are silver. And once I do that, we'll come back and start on some washes. Alright, we're back. And everything is nice and dry. I've added those silver bits to his head. And now we're going to move on to a wash, and that's going to be null and oil. And like I said, this is just a tabletop quality paint job, so a good old null oil wash is par for the course, and will get us exactly what we're looking for. So I'm just going to make sure to get it into all these nice recesses on the axe here. And yeah, so we're just going to put this all over the miniature. Uh, on all the silver, on all the black, if there are any bits that need a wash. Uh, I'm going to put it uh, in his eye sockets. Remains to be seen if I'm actually going to paint his eyes. Probably not for tabletop. But, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to put this all over the silver in any spots that are black. 
and then come back and we'll do the next set of washes. All right, we're back and the null oil is all done on this guy. Now we're going to move on to another wash and a regular paint step and that will be it for him. So first I'm gonna actually do the paint first. This is just Ulth one gray and I'm just gonna do a dot in the corner of the eyes just to give it a little bit of definition here. Just right, right in there like that. And then a little one on this one as well. There we go. Uh, maybe on the inside of this one also. Just like that. Nothing too major, but just so we get an idea that there are eyes in there. Again, tabletop quality, not going for anything crazy. Uh, now we're going to go on to Agrax Earthshade, and this is just going to go on all the leather bits in here, just to give them a little more definition. Get it in here as well. I'm also going to put this on his hair, again, just to give it a little more definition. Here on his beard. And then on the handles of the axes. There we go. Got that. And then on all this leather back here. And if it gets on the silver on these. It's not the end of the world. Just trying to give this leather a bit more definition. And maybe on the skull right here. And then down here, I'm just going to put a little dot of it on each one of these. It's a little bit too much of a dot. <laughs> a little dot on each one of these just to give them, again, a little more definition. Nothing crazy. All right. So, like I said, that will about do it for this guy. Um, right about now, you should be seeing completed pictures of him with a base and everything on him. Um, I'm hopefully going to get to paint um, the Blood Angel guy also, uh, Dominion Zephon. We'll see if I have time, um, but I hope to. If not, I will see you with whatever I paint next. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, feel free to like and subscribe if that's your thing. I very much appreciate it. But if you just want to watch and then never watch again, I appreciate that as well. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.